Hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com, and here we are at NAMM 2019. To my right, to uh, your left, I guess it is, it's uh, guitar player Jared James Nichols. How you doing, bro? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Big, huge NAMM for you this year. Um, we're at the Black Star booth right now, and uh, they've debuted for 2019 Jared's brand new Black Star amp. Tell us a little bit about this particular amp, man. Oh, man, I'm just so excited about it. It's uh, it's my dream amp, you know? It's it's such an honor to be working with such a great company, right? And the best part is it sounds so good. Like, when I plugged it in just a few days ago, I was, like, ready to cry, man. I loved it so much. So the, the thing about it is it's perfect for, like, at home. It's got, like, a little dampener switch so you can, like, keep it rocking at home. But it's also perfect for gigs in the studio. I'm really proud of it. It's, got it's, it's thinner than most Black Star models, I know. Yeah. So what it is, it's like a 212 amp, right? So a lot of 212s, you know, they flip them so the speakers are side by side. This is up and down, right? And it's kind of cool because it's like a mini stack. And um, yeah. it's it's got a really cool vibe and it just sounds so cool. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's got, give a little, you know, a little bit till we can hear on here. <laughs> to say tone for days dude tone for days man and it's just so cool because i don't like now with this guitar too and this it's like i don't need pedals i can no, just it's right off the rack too you just buy it like that and you can make it sound like that so yeah. cool man and it's cool to see people's reaction too because that really uh it inspires me when i see guys and i'm like damn it's awesome yeah i like the green cabinet too man it's an interesting twist yeah it's like the british racing green right yeah. i they're like well what color is it going to be and i was like well should I really do black, you know? And I saw this and I was like, this should be cool because it's still kind of dark enough, but then when under the light, it gets that little pop to it. The ghosts of Graham Hill are looking at it right now, right? Exactly, yeah. dude. Super exactly. cool, yeah. Now I noticed you also got a new Epiphone guitar as well. Yeah. So. This this is a big deal too. This is a Epiphone uh, Les Paul Custom. It's called Old Glory, right? Here, I'll put it right here. Yeah, there you go. And uh, this is, uh, it's cool because, you know, it's a black Les Paul, right? But it's about kind of, you know, what it's all about. The first thing you notice, it's just a single pickup, and it's a single P90, a Seymour Duncan, mm -hmm. volume tone, wrap tail piece, Grover tuners. Yep. Got your signature on the back. A little stinger on the back, so that's super cool. But um, really, this guitar, I, it's based on my original model that I kind of had. A, I had an old Les Paul Custom, and I just whittled it and ripped out the pickups and just kind of like experimented with sounds and tried to find my own sounds, right? And it was just so cool, man, because like people started to take to it and they're like, what's that guitar? You know, how's he playing that guitar? And I play with my fingers, right? So I got rid of this neck pickup and you know, it just got to a point where the guitar was taking a life of its own. And I've been working with Gibson and Epiphone now for quite a few years and I love them. They're, everyone up there is so awesome. And especially now that JC's in charge, man. Oh my gosh. Really good. Me and JC, dude. Yes, and um, it's just so cool because when they wanted to do this, it was like perfect. I already knew all the specs. I knew exactly what I wanted. Sent him the details. Like two months later, the guitar arrived, and this is it. This is the prototype. Again, right off the rack. Right know? off the rack, and that's the cool part, I think, is with a guitar like this, it seems so simple, but it really forces and inspires you to play in your own way. Right. Everyone that picks it up is gonna sound different, and being so simple, it's just like, all it, it's, a, it's the tool for your kind of expression, right? So when I pick it up, I'm gonna do my thing. Someone else could come up, play metal on it, whatever, you know? It's just, it's so open to like any interpretation. It's really cool for me to see people come up and play it. Sure. And I'm like, the first time a kid came up and he started shredding on it, I was like, what? I was like, oh, that's my guitar. That's so cool, you know? Well, you know, it's easy. you mentioned kids, too. You know, a kid can come up and see, he can have the same guitar, the same amp combination, and he can inspire somebody like that. They can buy it right off the rack, and they can be their own Jared James Nichols. That's what's up, man, and I think that that's the biggest thing is sometimes people need to remember that it, tone doesn't cost money, right? It's really about the sound in your head, the Black Star motto. Yeah. It's about playing what inspires you, yeah. and that's really all I care about. And a lot of people say, oh, well, why don't you get an old Les Paul? Or, you know, why don't you go? And it's like, you know what? It's all good. It's it's just what really inspires you. And this guitar beyond inspires me, man. It's beautiful. Sure. Well, you're the hot guy out at the moment, man. You're playing tonight, I understand, of the House of Blues. House of Blues. Uh, yeah, my trio is going to be ripping over there for the Black Star Party. Right. Uh, Gilby Clark, Little Caesar. Yep, yep. It's going to be quite a party. The quite the lineup, dude. It's going to be a party, dude. Yeah, big Yeah, party. it's awesome. 
What do you got else for 2019 road-wise? Uh, yeah, so right after this we pack up, we're going out all of North America tour with John 5. Mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna be awesome. And then after that we'll go over for Sweden Rock Festival, do some he headliner gigs over in Europe. Um, and then, yeah, man, I mean, we're already booked till like September or something. Nothing wrong with that. I just keep going, man. Yeah, you yeah. Have guitar, we'll travel, you and know? And doing what you love, man. That, that's know? it, brother. So. Again, at Black Star right over here, man. Congratulations again to Jared James Nichols on his brand new Black Star amp, yeah, man. It's badass. What's the actual stock number and what do they call it? I think it's called the JJN20. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. JJN20. That's can, so, they, so they tell me. You can find out anything you want at blackstar.com. And, you know, again, with uh, with the Epiphone, you go to the Epiphone, gibson.com. They can find anything you want to about that, too, as well. So, And then check out Jared on the road, jaredjamesnichols.com. That's, it, man. That's so, it. Yep, jaredjamesnichols.com. If you have not seen this man play a full show, you, I guarantee you, man, you're going to be a fan in a moment. And just it'll take about three notes. Can you play me three notes so they, so they know? That'll do it right there, my friend. Again, appreciate it. Thanks, brother. All right, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com here at NAMM 2019. Jared James Nichols at Blackstar. Thanks.